Hey everybody, welcome to your October edition of your Edmonton and area real estate market update. I'm just going to run through some quick statistics with you so you can see what the market is doing and how it might affect you. I'm also going to touch on uh, condo sales for a bit because the condo market has been doing uh, substantially better than in the last uh, few years. So have a listen and hopefully you find the information valuable and if you have any questions you can reach out anytime. Thanks for watching. Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to your uh, Edmonton and surrounding area market update. Um, we'll start with average home prices. The average home price in Edmonton and surrounding area is $397,000. It's up 0.6% versus this time last month. And we'll kind of go into uh, why that could be later on uh, in the presentation. And uh, it's down 6.6% versus this time last year. Uh, the average home in the Edmonton area is selling in 46 days. Uh, this is up two days versus this time last month, and it is the same amount of days on market as this time last year. Number of active listings is 6,259. Uh, this is down 4.92% versus last month and down 20.6% versus this time last year. And uh, yeah, we just still have a uh, low inventory in the uh, Edmonton area. Uh, number of new listings last month was 2,753. This is down 8.8% versus last month and down 3.8% versus this time last year. And we're still sitting in a seller's market with our low inventory. The inventory rate is 3.45 months. And that means if we didn't get any new listings, it would take about 3.45 months to uh, sell all of the current inventory. And number of homes sold last month was 1,469, down 6.7% versus last month and down 21% versus this time last year. And where is the hot market? Well, I am seeing that the hot market is with townhouse condos. Um, these are great properties. Uh, you can get something newer, something with a garage, uh, and usually under $300,000. Uh, days on market for these types of units were 30, was 39 days last month, and 36% of them sold for 98% of list price or higher. So it's a competitive market if you're trying to get into one and uh, it's a good time because the prices are going up and it's also uh, if you're looking to sell one it's a good time because uh, the market is hot for them. And apartment condos are also doing really well. Uh, average days on market for apartment condos last month was 63 days and uh, for an average sold price of 200,354. Uh, and I'm seeing that in the price range of around $170,000 seems to be a really good number to sell fast. And they're selling uh, for under 15 days, especially the two bedrooms. And for your interest rate update, uh, current rates are ranging, give or take, from 5.89% to 6.30%. And this um, depends on, you know, a variable uh, or a fixed interest rate and also depends on your credit. So if you have any questions, contact a mortgage broker. And if you need one, I'd be happy to point you in the right direction. And to summarize the trends, uh, so Bank of Canada did not raise interest rates uh, this last announcement. And despite interest rate worries, the low inventory seems to be bringing out buyers who are willing to uh, pay more for the right kind of property instead of waiting for the, uh, the spring market when inventory tends to increase. And um, as always, of course, get pre-approved. So if you, again, if you need mortgage information, please uh, let me know and I will uh, put you in touch with uh, some great mortgage brokers. Uh, this report was created using Realtors Association of Statistical Data, and uh, if you want to know how this impacts you, if you're looking to make a move, give me a call and I'd be happy to give you more information. So thanks for tuning in, everybody, on this uh, happy Friday night, and uh, take care.